How did Sam get on sight of the Lincoln Memorial? Easy. Secret Service acting on orders from the President got him there. Why'd they do that? Uh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Galliard got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. I'm inside. What now? The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little really? speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Then what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. Uh, that sounds like a great plan. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Splinter Cell Conviction. Last time we infiltrated White Box, set off EMP, and killed a guy I don't remember his name. <laughs> uh, now we got a bug of security camera. I'm not a security camera, a, a, like a TV camera? That sounds like fun. Uh, open door? No, no suspicious here. All right, Grim. I'm in the camera booth. Now what? <laughs> You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. I'm with directional mics here, high end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Mm. Miss them, and we get nothing. I just saw the Xbox controls on that screen. That's great. Xbox controls. Probably oh, camera three, ain't it? There it is. Enter the shot. I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Oh, do you now? I was impressed. Think of Samson's speech. It was a nice piece of ground. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. As well for the folks back home. I don't like the chances. You don't like Samson. I don't trust Samson. Who I'd be using it. Which is incidentally something you should keep in mind. My, my, are you actually threatening me? Civilized man. What your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time, stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet. Let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with him since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. 
Like I was saying, it's interesting that you chose this place to meet, of all places. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon us. No mistake about that. I'd rather keep our part in things out of the history books, thank you. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the age is the one with the least cover. And especially at a time like this. Which would explain why you're still here. Mm. Executive oversight. I hate leaving things to chance or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? now. Director well, Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides, and was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh. You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. Hmm. Nicely? Uh, that's not how Sam does things. Not in this day and age. <laughs> if he's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed. Bigger than Third Echelon. Uh, they're just convenient. So why does Reed want you out of town? Uh, your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. Uh, about that. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. <laughs> There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs, where do I find them? Say please. I say TVs. Sorry. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for, this is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Harder? Okay. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this one piece. Once Reed is finished at the white... Ah! That's all. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between the Yee. and the I've got a visual. He's on the stage. Uh, I could have seen that running down the stairs, Grim. Man, that'd do quick. Sam, you're getting old, bud. Sweep the area fast! Send back up now! 
You know, if this chase isn't very uh, climactic, I will just say real quick. Jump down. Keep going. Dead ahead. <laughs> the large tent in front of you ducked into it. Can he run to the left? He's outside and on the move again, Sam. He's also a really bad shot. <laughs> Officer in trouble. Come on out, punk. Don't make me have to go looking for you. Heads up, Sam. The police are pulling back from your location. Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. He's getting away. Sam, are you all right? Very. Put it into practice. There are multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off when they killed them the shooter. My gloves are off. I need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. I love I said a heart attack. I don't think um entry wounds cause heart attacks. Oh defend myself. Okay, that's not hard at all. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Fuck. Holy God. Yeah, him. A second wave of operatives is on its way. And it wasn't really a wave to begin with. There was two guys and kind of died. Yes. There's another batch coming at you, Sam. Oh, Jesus. Did we really need the defend yourself section of this mission? Oh. Right, where are these chuckle fucks? Be smart. Back with the wrong guy, shithead. About that. Got you. Time to go, Sam. Your ride is here. Yeah, let's go then. On the bridge behind the cafe. Go. Geet. Neat. Let me out of here. 